Shall we take a moment to talk about potholes in Stoke-on-Trent? If you have to drive anywhere in Stoke-on-Trent, you know that it's nigh on impossible to not smack your car up some kind of pothole. Whether it's a hole in the road, chunks of tarmac missing, the road just crumbling away, raised grids, dropped grids, you name it, you're trying to avoid it in Stoke-on-Trent. And the thing is, people in Stoke-on-Trent have just had enough. There's only so many times you can hit something that is the equivalent of a curb at 30, 40 miles an hour before your car just gives up. So let's talk a little bit about how much a pothole costs. So the average cost to repair a pothole in Stoke-on-Trent is about £50. I've had a look at the statistics and with the payouts that Stoke Council are giving to cars that are getting damaged, it's working out about £570 per claim that the council are having to pay out for people hitting potholes. And that, in about 2021, was to the tune of half a million pound. And when you look at these videos, you can see why. You're going 30, 40 miles an hour and hitting the equivalent of a curb multiple times a day. And there's no way to avoid them. Here, you can either go in the bus lane, get a ticket, or you can go onto the other side of the road. Then you've got wagons wobbling all over the road like this guy, trying to avoid them, trying not to fall in the sunken grids. And he can't go on the other side of the road because there's parked cars, cars coming towards him. He can't go up the curb because you'll kill somebody walking. You just cannot avoid them. You've got to hit them. And don't even get me started on the cyclists. How could you cycle along this road? You, this is why they're in the middle of the road. They cannot physically cycle along the edge of the road where they're supposed to go because you hit that on a bike, you're dead. You're over the handlebars, you're under the traffic. You literally have got no choice but to go further into the road, into the traffic and risk your life. Talking about some more statistics, Stoke-on-Trent Council is actually one of the worst in the UK for pothole repairs. And it's got the third longest wait time in the whole country for pothole repairs. In fact, there was one pothole in Tunstall that took over a year and a half to repair. The council obviously said that wasn't, you know, an average time and that's not how it how long it usually is. But it's not like it gets repaired tomorrow, is it? In fact, most of the potholes that get reported don't get repaired at all. Which is how you end up with roads like this, where there's 15 potholes and no tarmac left and you just can't avoid them. So it's like driving down a rally track at 30 miles an hour. It is interesting to note though that the ones that have been spray painted have mostly been filled in. So it might not take them 18 months to actually repair them. Now one of the big questions I've got is why are there so many bottles? Is it because they're using poor quality tarmac? Is it because they aren't doing a very good job? Because a lot of them have been repaired or patched multiple times like this one here yet it just keeps digging up the tarmac so why does the tarmac keep getting dug up is it poor quality tarmac is it shoddy workmanship should we be using something other than tarmac is there a weakness in the road i would have thought that instead of the council keep paying out over and over again to keep repairing the same potholes they would figure out a more permanent solution and yes, I am aware that there has been millions of pounds spent on road resurfacing and it, there is more road resurfacing currently going on. But I'm not sure that's something to be proud of because whatever you're doing resurfacing these roads isn't working. Because I'm sorry, tarmac shouldn't be down for 12 months and then suddenly have massive holes in it and chunks of it missing. And when you go back over a road and you patch it and you patch it, this is what happens. An edge pops up, a car keeps driving over it, it digs it up. So they put another square of tarmac in. Then another pit pops up, then another bit pops up. Then another hole happens and then another hole happens. And then eventually you've just got to resurface the whole road. Why don't they just do it properly in the first place? I mean, this is literally like an off-roading track. If you, if you got a car that was slightly low or low profile tyres, 
You can't drive down there. You just physically would smash an alloy. Now, a lot of these potholes are deep enough and sharp enough on the edges to cause major damage. Now, what happens if you ring an ambulance and the ambulance is coming to you, you're having a heart attack, and the ambulance, going 50 miles an hour, hits a pothole and smashes an alloy? Who's liable for that? Sorry, it's just a question that I thought the other day. If, if there was an emergency and you smash an alloy and you can't get to that emergency, who's liable? It's an interesting question. Now, some of these potholes are so wide that you just can't avoid them. So you've got people slamming the brakes on. I don't know how there hasn't been more accidents due to these potholes. But I don't know how that's not a priority to repair. You cannot avoid that. Oh, and now we get to my favourite pothole. Please tell me this is a council sanctioned repair because I love this. Someone's just tipped a shovel full of tarmac in the hole. <laughs> it... And it's funny because they've actually filled this little tiny pothole in here, but not the big giant ones next to it. But they have left just a little bit of tarmac in that first hole for us. I mean, this is in Blurton, if anybody wants to go and have a look, but yeah, that's about the best pothole repair that I have ever seen. Fabulous. Now you hit these potholes day in, day out, which we all do around Stoke and Trent because you cannot avoid them. And you are really, really damaging your car in the long term. And most people, there's a cost of living crisis most people are struggling to run a car, never mind repairing them, when they shouldn't have to repair them because it's not their fault they're being damaged. I mean, look at this. If you're a cyclist or there's two cars coming, you can't avoid this giant hole. And this isn't even necessarily about the tarmac, really. This is the grid has been put too low and the tarmac's gone down to it and now it's, it's I don't know if it's sunk or what. But look at the depth of that. If you hit that... You're having a real problem. Now, one of the problems that you're going to have with potholes like this, for example, on the main road, is this isn't going to get any smaller because this is being hit hundreds of times a day. So you've got two choices. Do you repair the pothole or do you wait until there's that many potholes that you have to repair the entire road? And it seems like our council is choosing the latter or neither. So, I would absolutely love to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on this? Do you have any ideas of how to fix it? Do you have any thoughts on what the council should do? Have you had your car damaged by the potholes in Stoke-on-Trent? Please leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel if you like. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on this subject.